What's going on guys? We're on to our second video of new playlist. How would that superhero train? Today we are doing Spider-Man. Last week we did Superman. You can check that out above. I had my little Funko Pop. It was all set up for every single video I was going to use the Funko Pop. That was a malfunction, so I scrapped that whole idea. Another thing that's going to be different about this one is I'm going to be linking the uh, videos of celebrities who have played Spider-Man. Last week I didn't use them in the video because I wanted to keep it like the animated series, really focus on the character. But... I had some feedback and the celebs play that character, these characters that we do, and Superhero Jack, we research all those celebrities, so it makes sense to link them. I agree, I'm going to do it. So basically this video is going to be a breakdown of the things you could utilize to build a routine, how these specific um, superheroes would train in real life if they weren't just given powers, like if uh, Superman wasn't an alien from... Krypton, if Spider-Man didn't get bit by the spider and become Spider-Man, how would they train as normal humans to get the powers they have? Utilizing the 200 plus celeb workout routines that I've researched, my personal training cert, my CrossFit coaching cert, and just training people in general and myself, I'm going to be able to tell you these things based on their powers. So for example, some of the powers we're going to be talking about with Spider-Man are superhuman strength, superhuman jumping, leaping, and speed superhuman agility and superhuman reflexes we're going to be talking about all those things uh, and like i said i'm going to be plugging in some fun stuff and let's get started i'm going to go one by one through um, a little bit of research on how we would do these things so before i do that though i'm going to link above to tom holland's workout routine guide it's a most viewed video that's why i'm starting off with spider-man after superman get a little bit into the marvel stuff and I don't know how closely I can link these things, but we also have Brandon training like Tom Holland for one week. Boom. That's another really good video. You guys got to check that out. And let's research right off the bat how to gain superhuman strength. Superhuman strength. This is what we started with with Superman. Like I said, I'm not going to give you an exact routine. You could utilize the routines from Tobey Maguire, from Tom Holland, from Spider-Man's workout routine. You could utilize any of the routines that we have on the site. But what I do want to talk about is some things that specifically help you gain these superhuman qualities. Basically, for strength, I'm going to break it down and I'm going to talk about first and foremost progressive overload. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Let's put that right on the screen here or here. I don't even know where I'm putting it. I'm putting progressive overload for, first and foremost. Progressive overload is when your weight or your intensity or your volume increases from week to week in your workout routine. So an example of that would be uh, if you're bench pressing 225 next week, you're benching 235, you're progressively getting higher. If you did 15 reps, maybe you do 20 reps, progressively getting more volume or intensity or weight or whatever it is, progressive overload. The second thing I want to talk about gaining strength is pyramid training. I personally really like to use pyramid training. It's not an absolute must, but the way I do it is if I'm starting with 12 reps, then I'll go to 10 reps, then 8, then 5, so on and so forth, depending on how many sets I'm doing. And in that, while I'm decreasing the rep range, I'm increasing the weight range. So I might start at 135, hit 225 or 185, then 275, then 315, etc., etc. Something like that is how I utilize pyramid training. The last thing that I want to talk about is a sustainable workout routine and diet. So you're going to have to sustain your diet. If you want to build strength, you're going to have to eat properly. Um, if you want to build muscle, you're definitely going to have to be over your caloric intake to, to build muscle, feed your muscles, have enough protein, and you're definitely going to need a sustainable workout routine because if you're not working out properly and you're kind of just lackadaisy every once in a while, you start for two weeks, stop, start for two weeks, stop, you're not going to put on the muscle you need, especially not to become like Spider-Man. All right, next on the list, let's research superhuman jumping, leaping, and speed. We're going to put it all into one category. Basically because Marvel Wiki did it for Spider-Man, so why not us do it for Spider-Man? But before we do that, before we research it, let's take a look at something that needs to be seen. It is Spider-Man beating up Deathstroke in the form of Tobey Maguire punching out Joe Manganiello. <laughs> All 
All right, now we're free. Now we are free to research the superhuman jumping. Let's get into that. All right, so increasing your vertical leap, uh, this is definitely something that Spider-Man would be able to do. Spider-Man is able to jump like crazy, jump, leap, speed. It's all Spidey stuff. So uh, well, if you don't believe me, honestly, we're going to go back to the amazing Spidey, Spider-Man and we're going to look at a clip. Let's see which clip I specifically want to use. Uh, specifically, want to use Andrew Garfield's um, basketball dunk clip. And uh, here's some jump action. I bring it! Come on, Parker! Come on! Yeah, you guys didn't believe me. He jumps like crazy. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build strength in order to, to jump. So that's going to come with a lot of your compound lifts. You can do it with squats, with building your leg strength up, with other uh, compound movements like a deadlift and um, even box jumps. You're going to want to increase box jumps. Box jumps is going to increase not only your jumping and your leaping, but also your movement speed, your agility, movements like that. So we're going to talk more about superhuman agility and reflexes, which will also help with this, but it's also going to be a lot about your form on how you jump. You can increase your, your box jump or your, or your jump, how high you're jumping, just based on your form, using your arms and getting that down as well. So a lot of it's gonna be building your strength, sticking to the right routine in the same way you would build superhuman strength. It's also putting in things like the box jump and other movements to specifically target that. All right, next on the list is superhuman agility and speed. You have a metal arm? That is awesome, dude. Oh God. Hey buddy, I think you lost I'm pulling agility from the last one because I want to talk about balance. So improve your balance. Balance is huge. Core strength and balance is going to improve your agility and your speed. Other things you can implement into your workout routine are things like suicide sprints and um, like I said, box jumps. And honestly, the movements, the compound lifts and building strength are going to help you as well. But you're also going to want to do things like cone taps and like little sprints movements you would do if you were a runner and ladder drills and really just getting out there you could do hurdles and sprints and getting on the track but it's really just progressively increasing and increasing the same way you would with strength so in order to get faster and uh, be more agile you're going to want to do these little things that that uh force your body to move at a at a higher speed so if you're doing lunges you can put weight on the lunges or you can do jumping lunges and and box jumps you can add weight to it you're always going to want to be getting stronger and incorporate the progressive overload even into things like that all right next on the list is superhuman reflexes <laughs> be something you specifically bring into the gym with you and you're going to add to your workout routine but it is fitness it's getting out there utilizing your fitness and training for for reflexes i mean you could really get superhuman reflexes from something like table tennis not even kidding um just from playing sports in general like baseball football all these things improve your reflexes training with a reaction ball it's getting out there and it's doing it and it's putting in the time to train and get progressively better. It's always going to be about that progressive thing and building and getting better over time, over time, over time. So that is how Spider-Man would train. I'm giving you, let's see, three, four different links in the, in the links below to different Spider-Man workout routines. They're all scalable. If you need help scaling these workouts, uh, let me know below. Hopefully I get some awesome clips in here. I know I didn't specifically stop like the last video because I want to talk over it. I want to put, clip them in to little places that they belong. Have some fun with it. So if you guys have any suggestions for these videos, if you guys want me to actually like talk through a workout routine and uh, talk about why things are the way they are, we could do that as well. Um, I don't know. Give me some suggestions on what you guys would like to see. Hopefully th this was fun and we'll move on to next week's th thing. We'll move on to next week's um, training with a superhuman.
And we'll move on to next week's How to Train Like Another Superhero. Not sure who we're doing yet. Give me some suggestions about that, too. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Hope it was enjoyable to watch, and I will see you on Tuesday for a How To Tuesday. Later. Uh, hey guys, I love pepperoni, and if you subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and check out the links below, I'll get to eat more pepperoni, like, because I'm a puppy, and I love, <laughs> and I love, I love pepperoni, please, please, get me more pepperoni, I just need it, oh yes, pepperoni's so good, please subscribe and like,